there is a person that I speak to every so often and let's call this person person A. Person A, so many bad things are happening to person A. So many. And person A is changing their life. And demons, as it seems, is trying so hard to push back person A back into sin, to pretty much give up. So please pray for person A. Myself, I pray for person A myself. And I want you to do it as well. Now, let me get to my point. <laughs> Some people may say to me, Kevin, I can't stop sinning because so many people around me are sinning. How many people in this world are actually serving God? Not too many. So you say that you can't serve God because so many people around you aren't serving God. But how are some people who are serving God, do you believe that everyone around them are serving God? Of course not. Let me say this. If you see 100 people jump off a bridge, are you going to do it as well? Are you going to say, Kevin, I see these people jumping off a bridge, so since they are around me, hey, I have to do it as well. So are you telling me that you are going to jump off a bridge as well? No. So if you have enough sense to not do something foolish like that, why not have enough sense to serve God while people are disobeying God? So your excuse of saying, well, Kevin, so many sinners are around me, that excuse is not valid. We know that there are much more sinners in this world than people who serve God by far. So are you going to tell God, hey, God, so many sinners was around me, so I said, hey, let me not even try. Let me just fall into sin and not resist at all. What do you believe God is going to say to you? Depart from me. Depart from me. Listen. Even with people who serve God, we have a difficult time in fighting off sin, as in fighting temptations. Now, if you say, if a person says that serving God is easy, something is wrong with that person. Chances are, that person is not serving God. Chances are. Because serving God is not easy. Myself, I fight against temptation every single day, just about. Even, 
listen, I get attacked in my sleep. So while I am awake and while I am asleep, so I am getting attacked <laughs> nonstop. Not like for hours and stuff like that, but when I sleep and when I am awake. So I have to resist all the time. And you believe that since it is hard for you to serve God, and since so many people around you are not serving God, you may believe that, hey, it is okay for you to do as you please, which is crazy. If I was the only one serving God in this world, and I knew if I die in sin, I am going to hell, guess what? I am going to serve God some way I am going to find out how to serve God. Why go to hell when you know that there is not going to be anything comforting in hell? You are not going to like anything in hell. Some people may believe that you are going to party and drink and have fun and talk to some girls and stuff like that. No. What you are going to have is your torment. It's being burnt alive without being able to die. How about that? How would you enjoy that? So, how can you talk to your friends for one, it is going to be really, really dark in hell. Two, you are going to be in fire. <laughs> Three, hell is so large. So how are you going to find your friends in hell? So do you believe that you are going to make new friends in hell? <laughs> Let me say this. Have you ever had a migraine so bad to where to even open your eyes, it hurts, to even move around or talk, you can't really do that because you have that migraine. Okay, imagine being in hell, having something worse than a migraine. How are you going to have fun? How are you going to party? How are you going to do what you want when you are going to be in so much pain? But Kevin, you know, I heard that, you know, or Satan told me that I am going to be a ruler in hell. You are deceived. You are going to be tormented just as much as anyone else in hell. You are not going to rule anything. Why in the world would Satan share anything with you when Satan hates demons? When Satan hates humans, do you believe that he is going to, he is going to stay loyal to you when you get into hell? No way. He is not loyal to you now. So let me stop here. God bless you.